Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Bubs, also known as Bubs B. I'm so glad that you are here today. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I like to deal with my children's cradle cap. This is Ray. She is two months in this video. I filmed it in April. She is now five months, almost six months. So um, she's still dealing with a little cradle cap, but it's definitely not as severe as it was in this video so if you want to see how i get her scalp from looking like that to this then please keep on watching i do want to say a quick disclaimer you do not have to do this to get rid of the cradle cap you can just leave the cradle cap alone and over time the cradle cap will go away by itself i've talked to other pediatricians and they have confirmed to me that it takes about a year for cradle cap to go away depending on the child it can take up to a year but if you just leave it alone it will go away by itself you definitely do not <laughs> have to do what i'm doing in this video but this is one way i did like to take care of the cradle cap that all my daughters had i do have three daughters and they did deal with cradle cap ray definitely by far has had the worst case of cradle cap i have ever seen so since we have gotten that out the way i'm just going to tell you a little bit about ray she started getting cradle cap after a week of being born her skin in her scalp is very dry she does have very dry skin she does have eczema as well so i think the eczema made the cradle cap a lot worse so i try to use very gentle products on her i am using alake natural sapphire collection today the leave-in in the oil and also i'm using this baby wash shampoo from aveeno if i don't use these products i will also use my dr brana soap the unscented one or african black soap I keep it really, really, really simple. So I'm gonna take the Cradle Cap Baby Oil and I'm going to apply that all over her scalp. You want to apply a oil that's very gentle on their skin and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is going to help you get the Cradle Cap up. After letting it sit, I am going to go in with a super fine, super small tooth comb. I do switch actually to an edge brush that has smaller teeth because that was working a lot better. And then I gently comb the cradle cap. So I have noticed with cradle cap, it kind of goes through stages. When your child first gets the cradle cap, it's usually darker in color. And I find that it's bigger flakes so after a while a couple weeks the cradle cap starts looking a little translucent a little lighter not as sticky and pasty and that lets me know that i can try to comb the cradle cap out i do not try to comb it out any sooner than that i usually wait until the flakes are falling out by themselves I'm not being rough during this process. I am taking my time. I'm being very, very, very gentle on her scalp and her hair. So gentle that she even falls asleep. <laughs> you will see she falls asleep during this process. So like I said, I'm not being rough. I'm taking my time. And if I do feel like I cannot get a spot up, I will just leave it alone. I will not mess with it. And you can see she is sound asleep right now. She is so beautiful. Oh, like I said in the beginning of the video, the pediatricians that I've talked to, they said it could take up to a year for the cradle cap to officially go away because even after getting all the cradle cap out her head during this session, it did end up coming back. I didn't record that. It didn't come back as thick and as heavy, but it did come back at the top of her head and at that point i just left it alone i made sure whenever i was giving her a bath i made sure to cleanse her scalp as well and slowly but surely the cradle cap that came again went away i also would like to mention that while she has cradle cap with any of my children i was not putting heavy oils or butters 
or moisturizers in their head or hair. I was just put in a little light leave-in conditioner and that was it. He said, but name your price in the beginning. If it ever gets more expensive than the price you name, get out of there. Thus, Africa. What's the cost of a dollar if I got no sins? No direction, no sign of his presence, no. I could have all the dollars, but you'd have my name. I would have all the fortune with my soul in flames, but I... I don't want to lose my soul Because it costs too much to get here Whoa, I don't want to lose my soul Christ died on the cross to get it back for me Me, yeah. I don't want to lose my soul Because it costs too much to get here Whoa, not my soul. Hell no, hell no. Get out of there. Get out of there. What's the cost of a dollar if I got fake friends? Them come around when I'm spending. I'm just a means to an end. No, oh, let's not forget my family, because nobody's exempt. I fought too hard to keep hell from around me to fool up and be pimped. So I rebuke you, Satan. You have no power here. I'd give all my dollars if heaven is my career. What's the cost of a dollar if I got no control? If I got no future? If I got no soul? But I, ah, yeah. I don't want to lose my soul. Because it costs too much to get here yeah, I don't wanna lose my soul Christ died on the cross to get it back for me Me, I don't wanna lose my soul Because it costs too much to get here And this is all the flaking that came off her scalp. And I got a lot of it up in this session. Like I said, you do not have to do all of it at one time. Before each wash day, you can do this step. After that, I did wash her hair with the Aveeno shampoo. You want to ensure that you do cleanse off the oil because if you let the oil sit on their head overnight or anything like that, the cradle cap will come back. <laughs> that has happened to me before I've left oil on their skin and the cradle cap came back So after cleansing it, I will add the leave-in conditioner by Alakay Naturals I do have a coupon code if you guys want a discount, but I love this leave-in I used it on BAM and I used it on Ray and it leaves the hair super super soft I tend to gravitate toward products that are formulated for babies on my baby's head because I know they've been tested on children and I feel safer that way instead of using my own products and you can see her scalp is really really clean her hair is still soft it's still moisturized but those are the steps I usually take when it comes to cradle cap let me know if this video was helpful let me know if you have any questions down below and I am not a doctor I am not a pediatrician so if you want accurate information please seek out a doctor but if you want any help from me please leave your questions down below I'll try to help you along the way make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one